it's, it's dangerous out here, and the city doesn't seem to be too concerned about it. New on Wave 31 News at 5, a plea for help from Madison residents following a fiery crash into townhomes. It happened in town Madison until emergency medical services confirmed the driver was a girl and no one was seriously hurt. Wave 31 reporter Paige Meyer is live from where this crash happened. Now, Paige, you spoke to the homeowner today and some neighbors who were affected by this crash about how they're holding up. Nicole, that's exactly right. I mean, everyone here is still pretty shaken up. Now, as you can see behind me, the, the townhomes are already underway, but this isn't something that neighbors here necessarily want to forgive and forget. They tell me change needs to happen on this road to make sure that something like this does not happen again. Now, the neighbors tell me people fly down Town Madison Boulevard. Julie Crow has lived in these townhomes for three years now. She says the traffic throughout this area gets worse every single day. She estimates 90% of these cars that drive through this area simply drive too fast. They come up over the hill, coming down. They gain speed. Maybe they don't realize they're speeding that much. But there is a pretty, pretty good curve here. And... People live here, it's a residential space, and people are not, they're not adhering to being smart enough to understand that you're in a residential area. Julie believes the developers in the city of Madison need to come together and make a plan so this doesn't happen again. Don Webster with Hempsey says he's not aware of any accidents reported in this area. Now I have reached out to the city, however they have not gotten back to me about the accidents and traffic traffic violations in this area. However, if you come back on Way 31 News at 6, I'll have more about what neighbors are hoping for in the near future. But for now, reporting live in Madison with coverage you can count on. Paige Meyer, Way 31 News.